All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 107. All right. So now we can start the code to fight monsters. To keep our code organized, the fight dragon function has been moved for us to be near the other fight functions. All right. So it's way down here now at the bottom. All right. So let's come back up here, finish this thing off. Uh, below our weapons array, we're going to define a monsters variable and assign it an array. We're going to set that array to have three objects, each with name, level, and health properties. The first object's value should be slime with 2 and 15 in order. The second should be fanged beast with 8 and 60. And the third should be dragon with two, pardon, with 20 and 300. All right. So let's start off by saying const monsters. All right. We're going to have that equal an array. And inside this array, we're going to have some objects. All right. And the first object will say name is going to be slime like this. We'll have the comma after the quote on slime. We'll come down here and say uh, level is two, then comma. And then we'll have health is uh, 15. All right. So after that uh, closing curly brace, we're going to have a comma. Then we'll copy it from 30 up to the end of 25. Then we'll drop it off after 30 two times like that. Get rid of that last comma. We'll change the second slime to fanged beast. The third slime we're going to change to dragon. Then we're going to change the health on dragon to 300. We'll change the level to 20. So just put a zero after the two. All right. Then the health on Fang Beast is going to be 60, and the level is going to be 8. All right. And that's not 8. 8. All right. So that should be it. Let's check the code. No. <laughs> Drag poom. Let's change that to what it's supposed to say. Drag on, like that. Uh, let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 108, and we'll see you next time.